When I started working on radar interferometry, this was a, a, a technique that only a few people were really working on. It was incredibly difficult to make interferograms, to get the data, to, you know, we used to get the images acquired, they used to arrive on, on, on tape, believe it or not, and we used to be able to process these individually as in, individual interferograms. As time went on, several things have changed. Computer power has increased, the software has become more readily available and easier to use, and the satellite providers are acquiring data much more systematically. And I think particularly with Envisat had a, had a mission, a background mission that enabled us to acquire lots of data reasonably systematically over tectonic and volcanic areas. But even with Envisat, we only had data maybe every 35 days if we were lucky for an individual location, but more typically it might be every, every 70 days or so. The huge change that's happened in the last couple of years has been the launch of Sentinel-1 and now we have Sentinel-1A and Sentinel-1B both acquiring data. They both image an, an individual spot in the same geometry every 12 days and of course you get data as the satellite goes north and as it goes south so you get two images potentially every 12 days and with 1A and 1B that's four images every 12 days and actually in some places the overlap is as high as a third, so there are many parts of the world that are imaged at least eight times every 12 days by the combination of Sentinel-1A and Sentinel-1B. And those satellites are targeting all of the tectonic areas and all of the volcanoes, so we're able to get now this huge systematic data acquisition over all of these areas of interest. The big challenge, of course, is how we process those data sets. One of the things we're doing in Comet in the UK and there are other groups in the world trying to do this is trying to automate the processing of Sentinel-1 data so that we are routinely providing interferograms and time series results in almost real time to the community so that you don't no longer have to be an expert spending your entire life uh, processing radar data to be able to use the results coming from satellites such as Sentinel-1.